Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today we're going to talk about what's going to happen in your life on Tuesday. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your answer. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So what will happen on Tuesday? We have the world, the two of swords, the hanged man, the five of wands, and justice. Darling, Tuesday is going to be a very lucky day for you because you are just going to feel calm and protected as well. Half of it is something that you will want to do consciously and the other half is something that the universe will bring towards you. With a hanged man in the middle of your spread, this is you taking a break. Either you're literally taking a day off from work, taking a rest day, a sick day, or this is just you mentally deciding that no, I'm going to turn my back on this two of swords, all of my worries, all of my dilemmas, all of my problems. I'm going to let go of that today and I'm just going to focus on myself, on self-care. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to meditate, you know, that kind of energy. This day, you are just going to turn your back on the world. All of the hustle and bustle and the worries and the anxieties that come with daily life, you're going to decide to take a break. So this is you feeling safe. This is you feeling taken care of by yourself. That's your own initiative. And also because the universe appreciates that, they're going to come in, step right in and help you as well. On Tuesday, darling, anyone who's ever started a conflict with you, the Five of Wands is the card of malicious conflict. So anyone who ever said negative things about you behind your back, anyone who ever maliciously wanted to harm you, the universe is coming for them. Justice. This is the card of cosmic justice. This is karma. This is this person or these people getting what they deserve. So Tuesday is a blessed day for you. You're going to have a rest. And as well, the universe will also... <laughs> really take care of you by getting back at your enemies it's kind of funny because i'm imagining you know this mob boss energy like this vignette in movies this montage in tv series where the mob boss is kind of just drinking coffee or drinking wine taking a bath taking a shower getting a massage relaxing and then on the outside his goons are like shooting up all of his enemies it's that kind of energy that will happen to you of course it's not literal it's not going to be bloody but it's going to be metaphorical the universe is going to shoot up your enemies in whatever way that they deserve this could be them losing their job because they betrayed you for a promotion or something like that this could be some someone breaking up with them because they made up a lie that forced your own lover to break up with you whatever it is it's going to be poetic because justice is here so this is cosmic law something that they really deserve is coming to them and you are just gonna sit there or <laughs> just really chill and it's going to be a beautiful blessed safe and protected day for you your best friend on Tuesday, if we're talking individuals, people, it's going to be a Libra. So if you do have to talk to someone, if you do have to spend this day with someone, do it with a Libra. Okay, that is the card of justice. So this one is someone who is really going to be there for you, stand up for you on this day, and make sure that everything is all right. But darling, it is a karmic day. Everything is going to be amazing, but you have to take the initiative first. And that is when the universe will respond with something to support you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So what will happen on Tuesday? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and 
and the nine of wands oh my god a lot of synchronicities you have four out of five wands cards so it's going to feel like you're very energetic you're very lucky and you're very passionate on this day the suit of wands that is ruled by three gods jupiter the god of expansion and abundance apollo the lord of light and victory and mars the lord of battle so whatever it is darling whatever fight you think you're going to be facing you are going to win you will be blessed by divine luck everything is going to turn out great for you this is like um you taking a vial of liquid luck or felix felices from harry potter it's going to feel that way like nothing could go wrong everything is amazing there's frantic energy but it's good frantic energy you know it's Again, very active, but also very, very optimistic. You're going to be truly busy, but you know that nothing could go wrong. Everything is going to be all right in the end. Before Tuesday, a day or two before, you will have received a blessing from the divine, from the universe. The Six of Pentacles, this is the card of generosity. This is you getting some sort of windfall from the divine. So on Tuesday, this is you planning everything, what to do with it, how to spend it, how to share it with the people around you. The Four of Wands, this is a celebration, literally celebrating this windfall. This is you buying drinks for your friends or taking them out to brunch, you know. This is you just celebrating this beautiful blessing that came into your life. With the Two of Wands, this is more personal. It's just you, like, budgeting everything. How are you going to spend this money? Where will you allot this amount, that amount, that percentage? It's frantic, busy, but very optimistic energy. It's a beautiful day. With the Eight of Wands, a lot of messages coming for you, people congratulating you, people wanting to know when they can see you, talk about it with you. So if you've guessed what I'm talking about, the Six of Pentacles energy with all the celebrations and the congratulations, this could be you getting a promotion, getting a big bonus, an increase, or winning the lottery even. You know, with a lot of publicity, Wands, this is like the arrows of communication, a lot of frantic planning. This could be anything big darling it has to do with your material resources because pentacles are coins they are gold and they have to do with your finances with your monetary gains so it's going to be beautiful tuesday very busy but in the most positive way and then it gets a little bit emotional but still in a positive way the nine of wands this is you taking a break from all of the felicitations and the planning and you just looking back at your life how many battles you've won how many struggles you survived how difficult it was and how the universe and the divine and your loved ones helped you you know it's all about looking back and knowing how strong you are now and appreciating how beautiful your life is at the moment so darling tuesday is not going to be a big day for you it will have been a day or two before when this blessing will come into your life and then tuesday is going to be the continuation of that you just planning and people congratulating you for what you achieved and you looking back at all of the achievements that you have in your life and just feeling grateful and thankful tuesday is truly a blessed day for you again liquid luck it's going to be filled with passion and optimism and happiness i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the third card welcome to your reading it's timeless you're meant to see it right now so what will happen on tuesday we have the page of swords the ten of swords the ten of wands the knight of cups and the seven of wands darling your day it's going to start out horribly but it's going to end beautifully so your theme for tuesday it's a blessing in disguise during the start of the day mid-morning you're going to receive a message a harsh brutal painful message that is what the page of swords represents you know something brutally honest something brutally frank and something that's going to make you feel dead inside with the ten of swords so this could be someone breaking up with you 
This could be you losing your job, getting laid off of your job. It's that kind of energy. It's really painful. It's really shocking. And with the Ten of Wands, this is that energy of, oh my God, what do I do now? You know, this is you panicking. This is you feeling like you're at rock bottom. It's just really terrible. And then mid-afternoon, the universe is going to step in with the Knight of Cups. So this is you realizing that everything's been a blessing in disguise because something better than what you lost is going to come in immediately on the same day within a matter of hours what do i mean by this if this is an abusive lover a toxic lover breaking up with you this is like your childhood sweetheart saying hello to you again finding you on facebook or on instagram so now that you're no longer in this toxic abusive relationship even though you were kind of obsessed with the person you felt like you needed the person now you're open up <laughs> you know you're open to restarting this relationship with someone great someone who's really deserving of your love right so again it's a blessing in disguise out with the old in with the new a window is closed and a bigger door has opened if this is you losing your job then this is a job offer that's urgent you know from a better company something a field and industry that you really like but they're not willing to wait they need to hire someone right now and if you still had this job you would have had to wait two weeks because of the two weeks notice thing and they wouldn't have hired you so finally now you're opened up right now you have space for this beautiful job so it's that kind of energy really it is like the car that you picked vulture nothing is wasted it's going to feel like you're dead at the beginning but just in a matter of hours the universe is going to set everything right the knight of cups this is an offer of love this is an offer of positive emotions this is an offer of something that will make you feel really good inside and then with the seven of wands this is you just realizing that really again like the car that you picked nothing is wasted you know all of the efforts that you spent in this relationship in this job in this situation the, the other person the other party ended it but in the end you're still rewarded for it right with a new person with a new connection with a new job with a new blessing so darling it's only going to hurt at the start it will get worse before it gets better and it is gonna get so much better the knight of cups is also the card of water signs specifically pisces so if we're talking about someone specific that is your clue as to who this person could be i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So what will happen on Tuesday? We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, the Devil, and the Knight of Cups, darling. Your Tuesday is going to be 100% positive. I mean, at the beginning of your spread, it's a wish come true card. The Nine of Cups. This is emotional satisfaction and fulfillment because something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been praying so hard for is going to come into your life. I'm sure you have a lot of wishes. So the one that's going to come true specifically is the one beside it the ten of pentacles this is the card of material abundance so if you've been waiting for that promotion that bonus that new job even a windfall like that inheritance or winning the lottery anything goes darling because beside this already extremely beautiful card of abundance is another even better card of abundance the empress major arcana so really anything goes your wildest dreams when it comes to financial abundance that is what's going to come true that is what's happening for you the empress is also the card of venus ruler of taurus and libra so if this abundance is not just material if this is emotional abundance that you're waiting for along with the monetary gains then look out for a taurus or a libra because this could be the person for you this could be an abundance of love and happiness and affection between you and your partner this potential lover taurus and libra that is your clue as to who they could be but that is just a side note for those of you who are more involved in the romantic realm 
when it comes to romantic loving emotions for 99 percent of you this is about money because when you have these two together i mean it is just cash darling it's raining cash so this is again a bonus a promotion a windfall it's going to be amazing and in the middle of your spread too the empress so abundance prosperity really is coming for you this is the harvest of everything that you've been working hard for and then there's another message this is a different storyline if there's someone in your life who up to this point has been oppressing you, demeaning you, someone who's being racist towards you or sexist or anything else mean like that, someone is going to step in and defend you from that person. So the devil energy, this is someone oppressive, someone abusive, someone cruel, and the knight of cups is someone kind, a literal knight in shining armor, someone stepping in for you. So for example, if this is at work and your boss is kind of blaming you, criticizing you for something, this is a colleague or another manager stepping in saying, no, it's not her fault or it's not his fault. It's because you didn't communicate properly the brief and the instructions and blah, blah, blah. So this is someone really standing up for you. So today, this Tuesday, you are protected, darling. Blessings are coming in, wish fulfillment, emotional satisfaction, abundance, and prosperity. They're all there for you. And at the same time, there's kind of this emotional defender as well. Someone who's going to protect you. Someone who's going to stand up for you. The Knight of Cups. This is the card of water signs, specifically Pisces. So if you work with a Pisces, if you're dating a Pisces, if you have a friend who's Piscean, that is your clue that this person is really devoted and faithful towards you. Darling, congratulations because this is amazing. A dream of yours, a big fantasy of yours is going to come true on Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.